Hello Lolas, welcome back to my channel guys. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Guys, make sure that your notifications is turned on. Um, YouTube have a habit of unclicking that for you, so double check that. Guys, if you want to follow me on Instagram, my Instagram is MissSerenity underscore Smith. I'm also on Facebook in Miss Serenity Smith Doll Chat Club. Um, and also, guys, I do have a blog. I kind of haven't done anything with it in a while, but it is MissSerenitySmithBabies.com. And also, guys, if you want to be a part of my Chatterbox, which is a paid membership, you do have to be at least 18 years old to join. It is $1.99. And the link is in the description bar if you do not see a join now next to your subscribe button. Anyway, now that we've got done with all of that commercialized stuff. Also, guys, you can get your merch. I forgot. Get your merch. <laughs> anyway, I'm here with Winnie Pooh. And baby Winner is my personal baby. She is not for sale. But I am going to get her dressed. I haven't been able to do much with the babies. I did get some of them dressed, but... As far as like videos and stuff like that, I haven't been able to do any of that. Um, so, I'm going to put her in some green. Oh, that green look like it's going to look good on her. So, we got some mitts and this. So, I um, found these at Marshall's. So I, next week, I have a treat for you guys. Um, well, not a treat. Like, I know, that sounds so crazy. Okay. Well, next week, um, all new videos will be coming up. I will be doing um, more on the series. Look at this. Oh, go, go watch this. Look at that. Look good. Yeah, look good. Yeah, y'all got them. You got to put your hat on. You don't want to show them how bald you are. Um... So, more episodes to the series. I was going to put that exclusively in the chatter box, but I'm going to only put the episodes where, you know, like Miss Andy get out of line um, and doesn't and use colorful language. I'm going to put that in the chatter box because those are all adults in there and all the um PG-13 content <laughs> will go in here. And not that it will be so explicit. It's just that, you know, just every now and then she she says something bad. And um, I know although many of you like to pretend like you're such saints and so ladylike can never use a bad word. Um, it happens. So, <laughs> wicka, wicka, wicka. All right. So that's, so that's coming up. Um, also, I will be showing Ashby before she leaves um, next week. And I will be officially done with my custom. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> so, um, yeah, so that will be fun now these um onesies are like zero to three months but for whatever reason this brand is very big um it's kyle and dina but it's really big to me it's more like a three to six month size um to me that's that's how it is fitting for me i haven't tried this on her but i'm just saying the way it look because I usually have, like, if it's a reborn, I need my onesies to be snug. So I would never buy this for a newborn, um, a newborn size reborn because the cloth would show. And see even how it hangs down on her like that. But because she's full body, it doesn't matter. I love the armatures. I'm telling you, armatures are, like, the best. <laughs> um... So, and as you can see, like, it doesn't take a whole lot with her armatures. I love these. Um, I just wish that everyone else did the softer armatures as well. Um, I am afraid of the other armatures. And so, I am going to 
with future babies um, unless I've been to a show or felt them in person I am not getting armatures in any more babies unless they're from you know people that I've felt that was um, felt more natural I only had um, oh gosh anyway so yeah so lots so new content coming up next week and um i'll be popping in at some point and doing a live with you guys so i don't know i know a lot of everybody working from home or some people are getting ready to go back in the office so um I don't know what people's schedules are, but we're going to see so I can come and chat a lot with you guys. Look at this little wooga. She, um, so Winter does have a drinking wet, so I can feed her and she will, um, wet her diaper and she has the armatures. I just, I don't know. I just, I love, love her little sweet little self and, um, she is going to be getting all her little touch-ups and everything done and getting ready for hair. Um, so, um, Luca will get hair first, then she will get hair. Um, I have a project in between that, so, yeah, so, but she, I decided to do, um, Luca hair first and then I will do her hair next and then, um, well, that depends, because if my Andrew gets done before, um, if my Andrew gets done before her turn, he will go before her, because his head is much smaller. So, that is that. <laughs> See, and I'll just have to keep waiting, mama not fair. <laughs> Said mama not fair. That's because I love her regardless if she have hair or not, and she's not. I have no intentions of her leaving, so I don't particularly care if she has hair or not. Um, what else? Updates, updates, updates. Um, so I don't know what my painting schedule will be, guys, but guys, if you are interested in owning a baby from me, I will be having some babies coming up fairly soon. Of course, initially they will be bald. Um, if they're reborns and then they will go out to be rooted as I can get them rooted. Otherwise, I will give options of you can buy the baby ball and send it to your favorite rooter. Um, the thing about that, it may seem like you're paying more money if you, because you got to actually pay for the rooting. But the thing is, is that when I, my babies are rooted and fully completed and everything is done by me, my price jumps. And so, um, either way it go, you're going to pay the money. Either all at once or you're going to pay it, you know, you're going to have to send the baby out. So, that's pretty much how it works. Um, I've sold quite a bit of babies that actually mommies decide to keep them ball. Some babies, if they have a really nice shape head then I think they'd be okay bald but um yeah so I will be working on learning how to root well not learning because I know how to root I just it's just sitting still and having the time to root the vinyl um and also keeping the head like soft or something while I root so that's the, that's my challenge with the vinyl um, silicone babies I can root but I'm still learning the hair textures and you know all that so I ordered up a whole bunch of mohair here recently and we're gonna see what it's gonna do <laughs> so I'm I'm going to uh, root you know all my silicone babies myself so that I can definitely you know get even more comfortable with it um, I'm trying out different needles, all that great jazz. I changed my needle um, once and I, it actually, oh my God, it like, it seemed like it slowed me down, but then I found a needle that seems to be working much better now that I think I got my, oh gosh, I am just like, you know, 
I'm ready to take a breath, but I'm also hyped up and excited about what I have in the works. Um, definitely have some projects coming, and I do know that I am working on um, Cody Bear by Laura Tuzer Ross. I am going to be working on that one this week, and I am also going to be working on probably Warren by Laura Tuzer Ross. So I'm going to do a big baby and a little baby. I said in the past that I would not sell another Cody Bear because I did the prototype. Um, and I know I said that with my um, Abby by Claire Teller, but um, the mommy of the prototype of, which is uh, Birdie's Babies, if you guys um, wanted to follow her, and she's Riku or something. I don't know how to pronounce it. R-I-C-C-U on um, Instagram. Anyway. Um, she said to me, hey, I don't care if you, you, you paint more Abbeys and sell more Abbeys. So she said it was fine. So I don't know if I'll paint any more Abbeys. Um, I have not, um, I, I, I don't know if I want to do any more Cody's, um, to sell, but, um, I'm definitely doing one for my personal collection, but I'll see if that changes. I would ask the mommy first, but that wasn't one of the sell things. That's just something I've made up myself. I'm always making up rules for myself. The mommy didn't say, I don't want you to sell anymore or anything like that. And she didn't have the thought of when she bought it, that this will be the only Cody that um, I paint type thing. So yeah, um, but we will see, we will see. But, um, yeah, so it's going to be lots of fun, guys. Um, like I said, I got a lot of stuff in the works and a lot of stuff planned for my channel and for you guys and just everything. So I hope you guys enjoy seeing Winter Pool. Um, I am going to go. I will take her a few pictures and you can check them out on Instagram. Like I said, it's Miss Serenity underscore Smith. I am trying to get my followers up to at least 10,000 followers. So please, if you're on Instagram, follow me. Um, support your girl. Yeah. Um, anyway, that is it. I am going to go because I got a lot to do. And um, I'll be back. I'll be back, back, back. Guys, I hope you guys are enjoying the beginning of the new series. I don't even know what we should name it yet. What should we, in fact, can you guys, let's do that first. Let's name the series. Um, right now, I'm kind of introducing who the characters are. So we know we got Nikki, we got Miss Andy, we got Serenity. It's like, remember the Puck series? Um, so it's like we're doing a Puck series. So some of the same characters are coming back. But I think I'm going to add one more character. Um, and w at least one or two more characters. I'm not sure. Um, into uh, this this series and we might have a few guests but um, the storyline is basically about um, Serenity being in love with this man that is like um, basically she's like giving she's lost herself in this man like she's trying to give him everything and do everything for him and she has this um, she's she's now expecting so she's very early in the pregnancy so she's not even showing and you know miss andy is upset because she keep either adopting babies or having babies and then she can't control keep up with everything and work and so miss andy is having to come over and help babysit and you know miss andy be on that liquor and uh well she call it apple juice and then um um Nikki is so-called gotten herself together and she's trying to help her sister like get herself together and remind her how it was when she was out there, you know, just doing whatever, being willy-nilly with her life. And then the next character that I think I'm going to introduce will be probably one of you guys. <laughs> just saying. Anyway, um, <laughs> I am looking forward to going on with this series guys so i want you guys to be a part of the series so we're gonna kind of 
go with the storyline as it go. I haven't wrote anything out. I always just start the camera and just go. But I do listen to your comments and different things you guys say. And like when you guys tell me, well, I think she's going to do this or I hope she doesn't do that. You know, it's like I'm listening to what you guys are saying in the comments. And those things sometimes sticks in my head and all of a sudden it, it, it happens when I start, you know, acting on the camera. So I'm going to have fun with it. Um, baby Archie is settling, settling in very well. So we're going to have to get him on his first, you know, video where you guys really get to see him in action. So that's going to be fun. I'm just ready, 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 ready. So that, that's that guys. So anyway, again, please hit that likes button. Give me a comment below. Let me know what you think the series should be named. And, um, I will tell you guys, let me know if you guys want me to tell you guys which baby that I am expecting. Okay. Bye.